The Remington series is a tremendously useful uh, exercise, not just for brass players, but really for all musicians. It's named after Emery Remington, a uh, famous trombonist from the first half of the 20th century and uh, teacher. Um, and this very simple pattern of descending half steps, always returning back to the same fundamental, um, helps us on brass instruments uh, to accomplish several different things. One, uh, it's a great centering activity of making sure that our pitch is consistently centered um, and that we're finding um, intonation really solidly. This is an exercise that should be practiced with a tuner, and the goal is, is always returning back to our fundamental in tune. Um, as students become more advanced, the focus can be now about also finding that lower partial in tune. Um, this is also a great range building exercise, and we'll talk about a couple different ways to do that. But um, the first version that you have uh, in your text is uh, what I call the broken Remington. Um, this is great for beginners because it allows them to really focus on individual pitches while also not um, overextending their embouchure. Let's try it together. Um, so it's just a pattern of uh, three notes at a time. The fundamental, um, an interval down, and then a return to that fun fundamental and then taking a break. One, two, three. entire sequence. A couple of things that I want you to pay attention to. Um, one, do you consistently always return back to that fundamental solidly? Um, or do you get a um, pitch that's either inconsistent or tone that is unstable? So something like this. The larger the interval, the more unstable that return pitch is going to be. Um, so if you find that, for example, going from F down to D flat is problematic with the two and three finger combination, isolate just those two pitches. Make sure that you've got the F in two. Then find the D flat. them back together. You'll see I have a little hiccup going to that D flat, so we'd want to isolate that out again. Um, as you're going through these, even though it's notated in time, these can be played out of time. Um, so feel welcome to use that tuner to make sure that you're centering the note and sustain it as long as you need to do, uh, keep that consistent. Once you feel comfortable about individual intervals, you can take the rests out and create this as a longer exercise that's continuous. Et cetera, and so on. Um, my D was really sharp, so I'd want to stop, isolate just that interval from F to D out, and then go back um, and put it back in context. The other version of the Remington that you have is a, um, a reverse Remington, starting on the lower partial and doing half steps up. This is a particularly powerful tool to use um, if you're having problems getting to the next partial. Um, chromatic work can be really, really effective. Remember, the embouchure um, is essentially a chromatic tool. The mouthpiece is essentially chromatic. Um, but once we put it on the instrument, because of how large it is, We've now moved the fundamental pretty low. It's no longer a chromatic instrument. But our buzzing still stays chromatic, which means that um, even though the distance from B flat to F is only one partial on the euphonium, um, for my lips, there's a, I buzz a B flat, I can buzz a B, I can buzz a C, I can buzz a D flat, et cetera, and so on. So using a Remington series can be one way to help build that upper register.
Now let's say as I'm going through that, that when I get to my D, my one and two combination, I find that I'm really tightening my embouchure and that timbre is changing. That's going to be an indication that that may be as high of a pitch as my embouchure can currently sustain. And when I do long tone exercises, I should focus there. Likewise, when I do Remington, I should focus on getting from B flat to D consistently. Once I can do that, then I can move on to the B flat to E flat.